There's an infield single from James Nix and also another single from Nolan Macabrota, but the inning ended as Nix tried to slide into third and was caught. Now this one right up the middle as well, and that'll be an easy leadoff single for Andre James. Five of the last six, this College Central Florida has been able to score in double digits. Is now Andre Dreams will slide into second. Runner on second, one out. And this one down the line. It'll bounce up for Brock Edge. The throw back in. And a run. For College of Central Florida sliding in is Andre James. And that one, Brock Edge was actually able to get in front of and prevent it from slipping past him and getting lost in that corner down the right field line. In turn, turned it into just a single for Zach West. But Andre James put on the Jets. Bases are loaded. Bases are loaded, wow. He's in the five hole, so there's one out. We're losing two to nothing. Mm. The guy just walked the guy in front of him on four pitches. Look at all the scouts back there on the left. Nah, the ball's down. Turn the pitching low and away. Holy smokes! A triple. You got a triple. Patriots take the lead in the bottom of the first three runs on two hits, no errors, one left. After one complete, Patriots three, Lakehawks two.
Dave and Randy for Maddox. Maddox up. And the Patriots walk it off with a two-run homer in the bottom of the ninth inning to win 16 to 15. They will play their last two regular season games over the weekend. Friday, weather permitting, they will play at St. John's River at 6 o'clock. Then the last regular season game is scheduled here for Goodland Field on Saturday, April the 20th. That's a 1 o'clock start versus Daytona State. Hopefully you can make it then. As always, we do thank you for supporting the Patriots. Please drive careful on your way home and have a very pleasant good evening.